now let's understand the structure of jp repository so what we have our student repository and we are extending using jp repository so most of the time what happened this question asked in interviews uh, means how jp repository means what is the hierarchy of jp repositories so if you go into the jp repository you will find that pagination and sorting repository so once you extend the jp repository means you have the pagination sorting repository functionality as well as query by executor functionality so uh, example uh, yeah example executor functionality so uh, currently we are not concentrating on this part okay we are concentrating on the pagination and sorting functionality so if you go inside the pagination and sorting repository you find it again extend the crud repository and uh, yeah it have this functionality and if uh, we go into the crud repository we have this functionality and yeah crud repository again extend the repository now we are going into the pagination and sorting repository because we are using the functionality of pagination and sorting repository okay so if you see here we have uh, two methods uh, where we have find all method where we need to pass the sort as well as another find all method which uh, where we are going to pass the page ever and what it is going to return page so the next video we are concentrating how to create page ever so once we uh, we are able to create the pageable we can pass it here and we will get the pagination as output thanks for watching